Okay. Uh, in previous lecture, we discussed the first nine question of this paper. In this lecture, we have to discuss the next three question and some other question as well uh, regarding domain range and functions. So this is question number ten. Uh, the last question of the previous section we discussed here was question number nine. Tha. Question number nine. So this is question number ten. Yes, uh, read question number 10, please. The diagram shows a sector C, A, B, which is a part of circle with center C, a circle with center O and the radius R lies within the sector and touches it D, E, F, where C, O, D is a straight line and angle A, C, D is theta radian. A, C, D is theta radian, yes. Find C, D in terms of R and theta. CD. What we have to find CD? You need this thing. We find C2O. We can use uh, this equation COF and we can find CO. And then because this remaining distance is also R, we can add R in that distance if we can find the value of X. Okay, so this is a right angle triangle because this AC is tangent to the circle and R is a radius. So which ratio we should use in which this perpendicular and hypotenuse is used? Yes, now. Please open your mic. R over X. So X is equal to R over sine theta. R over sine theta. theta. Yes. Then CD, CD total distance equal to R over sine theta plus R. Got it? Yes, sir. This R and this is R over sine theta. It is now given that R is equal to 4 theta is equal to 5 by 6. Find perimeter of sector C A B in terms of phi. C A B. C A B. So we have to find C A B perimeter. So look at this theta is uh, pi by 6. So we need double theta multiplied by 2, it will become pi by 3. And this whole distance is equal to R, uh, R by sine theta plus R. R by sine theta plus R. Yes. First, we will write the C D R, the radius, capital R, the sector C D, which is equal to R by R is now 4. Our sine theta mean sine theta is 5 by 6 plus R. R is 4. 5 by 6 is 1 by 2. 2, 8 plus 4, it becomes 12. Okay. So R is 12 centimeter. R is just on the right 4. Okay. Then sector will be equal to area of sector is equal to 1 by 2 R square into theta. Theta is Theta will be uh, because pi by 6 is just only this angle, half angle. So we have to find A, B, C, the perimeter of C, A, B. Yes, C, A, B. We have to find the perimeter of this whole thing. So then A, B will be equal to uh, this uh, for A, B, we have to use a, a theta is equal to 2 theta. Okay. So 2 yes. theta is use the name and then it will become pi by 3 because pi by 6 into 2 will become is equal to pi by 3. 12 square. So 12 square is 144, 72, 72 into 3, uh, 24. Five. He asked perimeter. Oh, I find area of sector. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Ask. S is equal to R theta. S is equal to R theta plus 2R. So R is equal to 
Well, theta is equal to five by three and plus two into four eight. Eight now. Three four times four pi plus uh, no r is equal to twelve. Four yes, sir, plus, plus two into twelve because we have to. This becomes twenty four. Four pi is equal to twenty four because we have two radius, one and two. So we have to add one and two and this arc length. So. This is our final answer. Perimeter is equal to four pi plus twenty-four. Find the area of shaded region in terms of pi and square root of three. Shaded region. Shaded region. So, how can we find the shaded area? You know. If we find the area of this triangle, this right angle triangle, one and two, then we can subtract the area of this sector. Yes, sir. Okay. So this sector. Let me draw the sector first. This red sector. So this angle, because this is 90, this is also 90, and this is pi by three. So the and sum of these two angles should be 180. So we can find this angle in that way. So pi by three, uh, this is pi by three. So pi by three plus this angle, if I name it y, plus y is equal to pi. So pi is equal to pi minus pi by three. So three pi minus two, this will be two pi over three, the whole sector formula. Okay. And the triangle formula one by two base into height. This, uh, if we consider this R as a base, so we have to find this height. Height will be, we can use 10 because we have this angle and then find this side height. So 10 pi by three. Small r is equal to small r is four. Four over that side is let z. Z is equal to four over 10 pi by three is 60 is under root three. Check that one. And sixty uh, under root three. Yes, this is under root. Three. We find first this length one by two base into height area of both triangles. One by two, base is radius, which is four, and height is four by under root three. And we have also multiplied with two. So this will become 16 under root three. And minus area of sector. Area of shaded region. Sixteen by under root three minus one by two r is four theta r square theta is what we have found theta is two pi by three two pi by three so sixteen over under root three 
minus 2 and 2 cancel. 16, 16 uh, pi over 3. This is, uh, you can simplify it further. Yes, 16. Under root 3. So here should we have, oh yes, it was the skier, no? Yes, sir, the answer is uh, wrong, sir. There's Two, a mistake four. in the upper part. Z is 4 by under root 3. Height is 4 by under root 3. We have this radius is 4, no? Theta so is 5. Five Theta was to root of 3 divided by 3. Theta was pi by 6. I use the incorrect theta. Here we have theta was pi by 6. Okay. So this would be 1 by under root 3. So this becomes 4 under root 3. Okay. 4 under root 3. 2 and 2 cancel. So 16, 4, 4 are 16 under root 3. This 2 and 2 cancel. So 16 under root 3. And then again 16 under root 3 minus this. Okay. Next. F and G are defined by this. Find the expression for F and G of F. G of F. Okay, this is composite function that you have to find F of G of X is 2X plus 1. F of G of X is equal to F of 2X plus 1. It means you have to put 2x plus 1 instead of x. This was x here plus 3. So 2x plus 1 comes here. This was f of x. We will find put this value in instead of x uh, in f of x. And then uh, this is a simply yes completed. Then one marks question. If you want to expand it, then you can uh, expand it as well, but no need. Find an expression f g inverse of x. Mean we have to find the inverse of this function. First of all, consider this y is equal to 2x plus 1 whole square plus 3. And inverse mean, I uh, used to say that in first step, you have to ask, uh, Change or replace y with x, y, x with y. Make x the subject. Yes. Then make y as a subject if you replace in the very first step. x minus 3 whole square root is equal to 2y plus 1. Here we have plus minus. Because he said the x is greater than 0 and here we have also x greater than minus 1 over 2. So we will take the positive value of this function because that domain will become our range so we cannot take the negative value. Right? Yes sir. So 2y is equal to 1. Uh, 1 will become negative plus x minus 3 and then divide 2 with on the other side it will become x minus 3 minus 1 divided by 2 whole power 1 right so then in last step you can replace because this was a composite function fg inverse of x is equal to this x minus 3 
minus one. I either you can write or number two uh, like this. So this is our inverse. Then he also asked for find and state the domain of this function. Mean you have to find the domain of it. Simply now I tell you that we have now square root uh, domain of this function. We can find there should be no negative number in this square root. It means that x x minus three should be greater than zero, greater than or equal to zero. Equal to zero because three is not in our. Yes, this should be greater than. Then x will become greater than three. Okay. And the uh, so three into infinity. Yes. So he said, find the domain of this function now. Yes, domain sir. of. So domain of this function means that there should be no negative number if we take different values of x, and there should be no negative number inside the square root. Got it? Yes, sir. It should be greater than three. Greater than zero. Yes. Okay. So x becomes three. So this is our domain, right? Okay, sir. <clears throat> then he said solve the equation f g of x minus three and this. So f into g of x we have already found where is f into two x plus one square. 2x plus 1 square plus 3, I think. Yes. And this negative 3 is coming here. We will put in negative 3 is equal to g into f of x. Then now we have to find g into f of x. First find g into f of x. x square plus 3 is equal to what is the function? Is g of x 2x plus 1. means we have to find 2x here plus 3 plus 1. So this becomes x here plus 4. So x here plus 4. Okay? Yes, sir. Then expand it. Uh, name. 2b and no? 2b multiply over. So 2x here plus 6 plus, so 2x here plus 7. This will become 2x here plus 7. Now expand it, it will become 4x here plus 4x plus 1 is equal to 2x here plus 7. So 4x here minus 2x here plus 4x. 7 minus 6 equal to 0. 2x square plus 4x minus 6. 2, 6 times 12. Factor of 12, uh, 6 and 2. Minus 2x is minus 6 equal to 0. Then 2x, x plus 3 minus 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. x plus 3 and 2x minus 2 equal to 0. x is equal to minus 3. And x is equal to 2 by 2. It will become 1. Yes, x is equal to 1. So x is equal to minus 3. Uh, solve the equation. x is equal to minus 3. So, and x is equal to 1 x is equal to minus 3 is not included in our domain. No, not but uh, this was f g composite function. And so x is equal to minus uh, 3. So our only solution is x is equal to 1. But this x is equal to minus 3. We have to look for the composite function domain and range. You know, 
कंपोजिट फंक्शन की डोमेन और रेंज थोड़ी सी डिफरेंट होती है ठीक है ये मैं आपको डिफाइन करता हूँ कि कंपोजिट फंक्शन की डोमेन और रेंज कैसे निकालता है उसमें ये होता है कि जो फंक्शन ये देखो इधर यहाँ पे जो आ रहा है जैसे यहाँ पे ना जी एफ एक्स एफ के अंदर कॉन्टेन कर रहे हैं तो जी एफ एक्स की जो रेंज होनी चाहिए ना वो एफ की डोमेन के अंदर अंदर आनी चाहिए और यहाँ पे जैसे जी एफ ऑफ एक्स इस जी में कॉन्टेन कर रहा है तो एफ ऑफ एक्स की जो रेंज होनी चाहिए वो जी एफ एक्स की डोमेन के अंदर अंदर आनी चाहिए ठीक है उसके लिए कंपोजिट होल्ड करता है अच्छा नेक्स्ट एंड द डायग्राम शोस अ कर्व विद इक्वेशन दिस एंड द स्ट्रेट इक्वेशन दिस कर्व क्रॉसेस एक्स एक्सिस एट 40 एंड क्रॉसेस बी एंड सी फाइंड द कैलकुलेशन बी एंड सी कोऑर्डिनेट्स बी और सी कोऑर्डिनेट्स कैसे फाइंड करेंगे सिमिलरली सॉल्व करेंगे एंड एसी सॉल्व करेंगे माइनस 2x और y is equal to 3 minus x तो 3 minus x is equal to 4x power 1 by 2 minus 2x इधर नहीं है 2x इधर आगे पॉजिटिव हो जाएगा 2x positive minus x x minus 4x power 1 by 2 plus 3 कैसे सॉल्व करेंगे नाम इस पर पावर लेट कर लेंगे हाँ जी दी इक्वेशंस आर कॉल्ड रिड्यूसेबल टू क्वाड्रेटिक x power 1 by 2 को आप t लेट कर तो x जो है जो हाफ पावर है ना हमेशा मैंने आपको बताया था कि इनके क्या होता है कि हाफ पावर जो जो होती है उसको आप t लेट करते हैं तो ये x जो है वो t स्केयर बन जाएगी माइनस फोर टी प्लस थ्री इक्वल टू जी तो ये टी माइनस वन और टी माइनस थ्री इसके फैक्टर आ जाए तो टी इज इक्वल टू वन और टी इज इक्वल टू थ्री ओके ओके सर टी इज वन एंड टी शो डेट द अब बी इज स्टेशनरी पॉइंट ऑन द तरफ जो बी है वो स्टेशनरी पॉइंट ऑन द कर्व है हाउ कैन यू फाइंड द स्टेशनरी पॉइंट ऑन द कर्व कर्व पे स्टेशनरी पॉइंट कैसे डी वाई और डी एक्स विल बी जीरो हाँ जी शाबाश इसका डेरिवेटिव लो डी वाई और डी एक्स तो दिस विल बिकम टू एक्स की पावर माइनस वन बाई टू माइनस टू तो टू इंटू उसके रूट ऑफ एक्स माइनस टू इसको अगर आप जीरो के इक्वल पोर्ट करें टू उसके रूट ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू डी वाई ओ डी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो देन स्के रूट ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एंड एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन एक्स इक्वल टू वन आ जाए ठीक है अच्छा ये टी की वैल्यू ये लास्ट में इसमें ना टी में दोबारा जो आपने लेट किया होगा उसमें पुट भी करना है यहाँ से फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ शेडेड रीजन एरिया ऑफ शेडेड रीजन कैसे फाइंड करेंगे लुक एरिया ऑफ शेडेड रीजन फर्स्ट इंटीग्रेट बिकॉज दिस इज बिलो द एक्स एक्सिस सो इफ वी फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्राई एंगल C coordinates कितने C के coordinates C की value क्या थी? अच्छा यहाँ nine nine और y की value find कर लेंगे हाँ nine ठीक है तो nine minus nine तो minus six हो जाएगा minus six या आ जाएगा C point और B point के coordinates क्या आएंगे one put करें तो उसमें one two आ 
फॉर्मूला होगा एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल का नाम क्या है इसको मैं डी कह देता हूँ ए सी डी इज इक्वल टू वन बाई टू बेस कितनी है इसमें बेस है जी फाइव है और ये सिक्स है फाइव एंड सिक्स One by two base into y. Three five times fifteen. आ जाएगा. See, then we have to integrate this curve and find this area. Area enclosed by the curve and uh yes, area enclosed by the curve and the x-axis. ये area जब हमारे पास आ जाएगा तो उसको ये इसमें से line की equation में से minus कर दें. अब इसके लिए इंटीग्रेट कैसे करना है आपने लिमिट फोर से लेकर यहाँ तक कितने तक पुट करनी है नाइन्थ तक सही है तो ये कैसे होगी बताए जरा नाम ये सर हम लाइन की लेंगे कर्व की लेंगे इंटीग्रेट करेंगे किसकी कर्व को इंटीग्रेट करेंगे हाँ जी अच्छा ये एक सेकंड इसका क्या आता है एरिया फोर और ये एक्स की वाली नाइन है नाइन माइनस फोर फाइव ये सिक्स आता है वन बाई टू बेस इन टू हाइट अच्छा ओ सॉरी सॉरी ये एक चीज हमारे पास ए जो पॉइंट है ना वो उसका नहीं है ए पॉइंट हमारे पास कर्व का इंटरसेक्शन पॉइंट है लाइन का नहीं है तो लाइन का अगर आपने एक्स जीरो पुट करना है तो वो लाइन का एक्स इज इक्वल टू थ्री है ये वाला पॉइंट तो ये जो होगी बी वो सिक्स हो जाएगी ठीक है सिक्स और सिक्स तो ये एटीन हो जाएगी अब जरा कर्व को इंटीग्रेट करें कर्व कितनी है फोर पावर वन बाई टू माइनस फोर एक्स पावर माइनस वन बाई टू है ना माइनस टू एक्स टू एक्स और इसको हमने कहां तक इंटीग्रेट करना है फोर से लेकर नाइन तक डी एक्स फोर एक्स की पावर थ्री बाई टू डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री बाई टू माइनस टू एक्स अवर टू फोर एंड नाइन टू पर चला जाएगा यहाँ पे आ जाएगा एट अवर थ्री एक्स की पावर थ्री बाई टू माइनस एक्स केयर एंड नाइन एंड फोर फर्स्ट फेवर फोर्थ नाइन नाइन इज थ्री पावर टू अवर थ्री पावर टू एट बाई थ्री माइनस नाइन का स्केयर एटी वन और माइनस फोर एट बाई थ्री टू की पावर टू पावर थ्री बाई टू माइनस सिक्सटीन सो दिस विल बी कम टू एंड टू कैंसल थ्री थ्री पावर सेवनटीन सेवनटीन थ्री नाइन नाइन एट आर सेवेंटी टू माइनस एटी वन माइनस थ्री टू टू कैंसिल टू की पावर थ्री एट 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 जा सिक्सटी फोर ओवर थ्री माइनस सिक्सटी सो ये आ जाएगा एट नाइन माइनस नाइन फोर्टी एट सिक्सटी फोर माइनस फोर्टी एट कितना होता है सिक्सटीन ओवर थ्री सिक्सटीन ओवर थ्री यस 
This will be equal to 333 minus 43 over 3. And this is minus. This 43 over 3. You have to minus the line. 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 You have to so area of shaded region is equal to line area 18 minus 43 over 3. 380 time 54 minus 11 by 3 11 by 3. Yeah, 3 into 2 by 3. Got it? Yes, sir. Paper is complete. Or we just left only one question that is just all about transformation. So in next lecture, inshallah, we will discuss that transformation. Okay, now you have to complete the rest of the paper. And the next task is uh, try to solve next paper. Inshallah, we will discuss uh, that paper in the very next meeting.